Boys and girls, it's time to gather around because today we're gonna talk about vacuums. That's right, vacuums. Now I wonder how many of you have vacuumed around the house. I bet a lot of you. And vacuuming's a lot of fun, isn't it? You can tackle big messes with this machine and instead of picking it up with your hands, you can actually take care of it with a vacuum. Why, just this past week, we witnessed our granddaughter vacuuming up a storm and she had a lot of fun doing it. Oh, boys and girls know this, your family appreciates it when you help out around the house and one of the ways you can do that is by using a good old fashioned vacuum. Now, as I was thinking about vacuums, I also was remembering they come in all shapes and sizes. While there are great big vacuums to tackle those great big messes that are outside that we would not want to scoop up with our hands. And then there are even vacuums that can tackle little bitty messes, like even boogies in the nose. Pretty gross, isn't it? And yet, aren't you thankful that vacuums can do that job for you so you don't have to do it with your hands? But as I was thinking about vacuums, my heart went to the Word of God and God's steadfast love for each one of us. So if you have your Bibles, would you open them to Psalm 136 today and allow me to read verse one for you. And remember, as always, this is the Word of God. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good, for His steadfast love endures forever. Boys and girls, did you see that? Our God is good and his steadfast love endures forever. That is some of the best news of all time. And as I was thinking about God's steadfast love, my heart was going to vacuums and how vacuums work. You see, when I vacuum out a car sometimes, I will go over a piece of dirt over and over and the vacuum doesn't pick up the piece of dirt. And sometimes I'll even pick up the piece of dirt, look at it, and then put it back down and see if the vacuum can do its job properly. And as I was thinking about a vacuum not doing its job properly, the Holy Spirit reminded me that oftentimes God gives me a second chance and a third chance and even more chances to do what he expects me to do. So know this, if you are God's child, he does not give up on you because his love endures forever. And that is good news. So the next time you're playing around with a vacuum and you're thinking about how you can help your family out, know this that our God is a God of second chances and third chances and even more. And you know why? Because his steadfast love endures forever. And that is worth shouting from the mountaintops and letting the whole world know about our awesome God. So I pray that boys and girls of all ages are encouraged today because our God is awesome and his steadfast love endures forever. So until next time, bye-bye.